disastrous night of my life. Uh, but I'm willing to put that behind me and hopefully she'll forgive me too. Uh, home walk into the games. I saw countless young men and women swing and flip their way to victory. Uh, but on that particular occasion I was positioned right up in the rafters and if you've ever been here you'll know that's quite a dizzying experience. And even with my finest theatrical performance of a sweating and hyperventilating vertigo sufferer, I failed to get a better seat. Uh, but this time, <laughs> this time I'm in for a treat because this time, boys and girls, I've got the golden ticket. I've got top notch, priority seating, priority entrance, gold plated fucking toilet seats. This time, I'm going to be sitting front row to see the poet, the icon, the singer songwriter, the legend. Let it go in. And I am freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> so check. Check. I'm sorry, could you could you spell that out for me? Does that say V I P? <laughs> Not queasy just yet, but a little bit tipsy. Um, I've ordered a coffee. It took a while to get here, but it's really nice. Just trying to sort of equal out the wine and the coffee. I'm really hoping I don't just need to piss the entire way through the concert. Uh, still really looking forward to it. Still really up for it. Um, should probably calm down on the whole drink. So, although I might have to have some water. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, the ever predictable cue for the toilet. Yeah. For the ladies, mine. Of course, my husband, Michael, wow. just walked straight through. Um, it's not quite couch but hey, you can have a piss in it, so um, I guess we'll just wait and see. Amazing seats, by the way. But they wouldn't let me keep the top to my water, which I'm really upset about. So now I have to guzzle it really, really quickly and buy another one. Ooh, I wonder why they did that. Before I let you take my voice so Some raw, unsigned talent, Finsbury Park. Sorry, who first? 2013. Did you notice that person fall right at the beginning of the set? <sighs> Lenny, 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 what can I say? I went with high expectations tonight and you completely smashed them all. I mean, dude, you were, you were amazing. Those dulcet, gravelly tones that just seem to have got deeper with years. Um, they were just beautiful, they resonate with your very soul, and those words, oh, those words that just don't age. Um, I think there was a point where everybody in the auditorium felt like you were speaking for them. You know, they're so universal and they're just beautiful. It's a truly, truly gorgeous evening. I cried a lot. Your backing singers as well were fantastic. Great voices, great girls. Uh, they did look a little bit like the angels from uh, Office Temps. Um, the O2, slight problem with the toilets, it's the same everywhere you go. 
But I just thought with a building as modern as the O2 and as well facilitated, uh, that it would sort of have enough toilets for everyone to be able to go in the intermission uh, to make it back to the second half, you know, in time. I missed an entire song. And when you paid a lot for a ticket and you're going to see an artist that you've been waiting to see for ages, you know, you really don't want to miss any of it. So that was a bit of a disappointment. But, I mean, as for everything else, I mean, I've just been to the gig of my life, so I'm okay. Uh, yeah, Leonard Cohen. You're my mind. Hmm.